So. All right, it's a couple of minutes later, like two or three minutes. I just tidied up some of the boxes, and uh, I guess now we'll install a motherboard. I'm hoping I can get my hands aren't that small. I'm hoping I can get into everywhere I need to get into afterwards. Uh, I'm feeling that I may not be able to, but uh, we'll just put it together and see. Alright, so I'm going to move this to one side and I'm going to lay down the case. So let's get the case. I also have a lazy Susan like Curry likes to use. Uh, I just feel like it might take up a little too much room right now. My standoffs are all here. Um, I have my bag of hardware here that came with the case. The motherboard didn't come with screws for the motherboard, so I guess I used the ones that came with the case. Um, uh, some Velcro straps. Uh, just going to see that cameras this in the right way all right so let me see that's a standoff some screws, some screws, and some screws. Um, I should really consult the instructions if I knew where they were. Um, that's not the motherboard, it would be the case instructions. Uh, I don't know where they are, so I guess we'll just figure out which one it is. So let me see. I'm just going to take out one screw and see if this is the one I need. Uh, da, da, da. Seems to be. These seem to be the ones. So for now, we'll put them. I'll put these aside. I'll empty these out. There should be nine, so so I'm wondering, I don't know if they give me any extra, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, there's like 12 of them, 11, 12 of them. I don't know, I'm not sure if these are the right ones, but, all right, so we'll pick it up by the heat sink. And we need to kind of get the, get Mike. The Iowa Shields. There we go. Um, we're pretty close. All right. It looks like we're in the right position. Let me get some screws. I'm gonna start screwing down the motherboard. Um. All right. My CPU fan seems to be okay. All right. With these, we don't want to tighten. Just tighten a little. So I got nine, so one, that's two. Uh, uh, one of them is not a screw, it's just a locator, it seems to be. It's sticking through the, through the motherboard. Uh, I could probably do it a longer screwdriver right here, and I have a one here with a connection on it. I don't know if it's going to be long enough, but let's see. This might help me out a little bit. This is a ratchet screwdriver that I have. It's going to make it a little bit longer for me. And it should also be magnetized. So that's one, two, three, four. One more is five. This one, as I say, is not 
does not receive a screw. Uh, I guess this is six. Oh, that one, I don't know what's happening there. I don't know what's happening there. Screw is going in, but not going in. I'm not sure if that makes sense. But yeah, there's something up with that one. I don't know if I'm just using the incorrect screws or. But they're working everywhere else. Uh, after I put the other ones in, I'm gonna I'll shake it and see if that screw comes back out. It doesn't seem to want to go in. It doesn't want to seem to come out. You know what? I should have checked the fan. Actually, I'm just looking at the fan now, and it's showing that the air is blowing out. So that's what I want. So this one is blowing this way. This one is blowing this way. This one on the front, I can't see. I'll have a look in a while. It seems to be blowing. Yeah, it seems to be blowing in, so I think I'm okay. Um, I have one more screw to put in, apart from the one that doesn't seem to be working. Uh, so, that's it. I'm going to need a long one, so let me switch the long screwdriver. And these are all my cable management holes, so <sighs> cables are the intimidating part, I guess. There's a lot of cables here. I'm not sure if I know where any of them go. <laughs> um sure I'll figure it out. Uh, it's a nice case. I am concerned, like I say, I'm concerned about the heat. I think it's probably gonna get hot. I'm gonna be doing a lot of rent not a lot of rendering, but I'm gonna be doing some rendering and hope it doesn't get too hot um, while I have the case this way I'm just gonna take out the graphics card let me put these instructions away uh, I'm usually pretty anal about my instructions so maybe I'll do that later uh, I have an extra fan which I'm gonna install I guess on the top I don't know I don't know yet uh, you know what, I will contact Katrin and ask for her advice. I believe she already told me where to put it. Maybe I'll go back and look at my messages with her. So, that's the extra fan. Uh, that's the power supply. You know what, I'll need them instructions because I don't know where any of these cables go. And here's the Quadro. I'm going to take out the graphics card just to see if it's going to fit. And also... And also, which one of these I gotta take out, or if I gotta take two out? I think I don't know if it's just one or two or whatever. So I guess this is driver software. Uh, I'll just do the drivers online, so I make sure they're the latest. Uh, this graphics card is not; it's new. I just bought it new, but it's been out a while, so it could be sitting in the factory for a long time too. Uh, So I haven't opened this before, uh, I figured I'd wait till installation day. So let me take this box off of that. So that's the graphics card and as you can see it has plastic on it. So let me just take this off right now. Plastic, I probably should have waited to take the plastic off, but it's off. Uh, so that's the Quadro. Uh, it, it may be a little more than what I need, and I guess, yeah, they go upside down, which I always find kind of weird. Um, uh, I don't know, I guess this is, 
All right, so when I want to run the graphics cards together, I don't know a lot about that. So let me see which one of these I gotta take out. I'm gonna put this in the top slot, which is the, which is the, by 16, yeah, PCI by 16. Now this motherboard has four PCIe slots by 16, so I can choose where to put this. Maybe I should move it down a little bit. Or maybe it's better I keep it closer to that cooler. Um, so it's going to go in that slot. So I got to take out the second one down. So second one down. Uh, let me put this graphics card back in. Because I'm not actually going to use this graphics card now. I will attempt to boot up with the onboard graphics. And then I will install this later. Uh, it seems to be the advisable way to do it. Um, so let me take out this, what did I say, second one down, second one down, get the screwdriver, get the screws over there. Obviously I would want to keep this, I mean, in case one of the other ones gets broken or damaged, I'm obviously going to be using a graphics card, so I'm not going to be never using a graphics card, so, but let's keep this. I should put this in a motherboard box probably, which is behind me. This is a motherboard box. Um, I guess that's the cable. All right. Uh, I'm gonna use the cables that come with the power supply. They send you cables with the, with the graphics, or sorry, with the motherboard. Um, I don't know, I guess I gotta use the ones with the I think I, I think I should use the ones with the power supply. So, all right, I guess connecting everything up is the next stage. I guess I got the hard drive. I can install the hard drive or the SSD drive, I should say. So let me lift this up again. You know what, let me shake this, see if the screw comes out. Hopefully my motherboard doesn't fall out. Hopefully. That screw was in, but I don't know, there's something weird about the, the treads on it, because it didn't feel like it was in fully, but you know what, if it's not falling out, and there's nothing that seems to be loose, maybe we're okay. So now, it seems like this is where I install, yeah, I guess this comes off. This seems to be where I would install the SSDs, which is kind of cool, I guess. And it can slide up. No, it can't slide up or down. It just goes on that one hole. All right. So I need to... All right. I need to get my SSD. So that's not the SSD. Uh, this is the SSD. One terabyte, 860 EVO. I'm kind of sorry I didn't get the 860 Pro because I got the Pro version of the 970 um, But this can easily be upgraded and then I can use this in my laptop maybe uh, My laptop just has a 500 at the minute, so uh, You know when I upgrade this it'll also be an upgrade for my laptop maybe so um, So now I guess my concern would be which way do I put this? Do I put it face up with the connections on the top or face down? Uh, I'm guessing down. I don't really want to be routing cables over the top here. Uh, so let's put it down for now. We can switch it later if I have to. So I'll put it on the one on this side. So let me see. I gotta find the screws that I need. Yeah, where are the screws? Alright, let's move the fan. I got a lot of screws here. I'm not really sure. See, maybe those are the screws I was supposed to use. Where, what are they for? I don't know. I really should find the, the case instructions, which I don't know. I have a sneaky feeling I've done something wrong. Uh, put the wrong screws in. I'll check that out in a minute. Uh, these screws seem to be the screws for the hard drives. So let's hope I can get this right. Uh, 
course I dropped them right next to the other screws so I can get them all nice and confused. Uh, you know what? They all look the same. So let me see. Alright, how bad can it be? If the screws are going in and they don't feel like they're damaging anything. Alright, let me see. So that one is not going in there. That doesn't want to go in. Yeah, that doesn't want to go in. Alright, so let's see. See, these are two different sides of the... Alright, so this one is going in, the other ones wouldn't go in, so now I have them mixed up. Uh, not my smartest move, I guess, but... Oh, they look the same, but they're not the same. One is rounded and one is flat, so in more of a flat head on it. So I think this is the one, this should work. Yeah, so the flat head, one of them has a more rounded head on it. Certainly nervous about the cabling. Um, not tidying it up, uh, just making sure everything is plugged in. There's already a lot of cables here, and I'm not sure I know what they're all for. Uh, I know a lot of them are labeled. Uh, these ones I can all, I believe, join onto that other piece that I was given with the motherboard. This is also for hard drives in here. I'll probably just put one hard drive. So let me just put this back in. So this goes on the, oh no, this goes into the holes there. Um, this is a really nice case on the inside. I wish, I just wish it was designed better where you could like, I'm probably going to leave the front of the case off, I'm thinking. Um, this, I don't know what's, I guess this is, power on switch is it look these can only probably connect to one place anyway so i'm hoping that i can figure it out see it looks like this may connect to the motherboard i thought it would have connected to the all right so that's in solid state drives in everything else i need for right now seems to be in um yeah so that's the stuff for my graphics card. I'm gonna have a quick look at the power supply and the cabling before I do any cabling in a video. Uh, I guess I'll see you for the next video. Hopefully that wasn't too boring. <laughs>